Hello everyone, welcome to MESS e-learning channel. Today we will be solving another problem based on equilibrium in connecting bodies. So these three, these three cylinders are arranged in a rectangular box which, are, which is an equilibrium. Now this is the question here. So here according to the question we have to find the reaction at point 6. So here is the point 6 and we have to find the reaction at this point only. And the information is given that is A is 15 kgs, B is 40 kgs and C is 20 kgs and the radius is also given. So for A it is 4 meters, for B it is 6 meters and for C it is 5 meters. So this uh, radiuses are given. Now as we have all the information now with us we can start solving the problem. So these are the radiuses. So the question here. Now we will start solving. Now we do not have to find the reaction between the cylinders here. We, in the question it is only asked to find the reaction at 6. So if we also do not solve this by separating everything from each other, we can still find C. So we will take that approach because we only have to find 6, R6 and not R, uh, R2 or R4 or anything. So whatever is required or R1. So whatever is required only that part will find. So I will consider the whole setup first excluding the cylinder, uh, cylindrical that. So I will just draw the free body diagram here itself. Considering this, considering this as a single system, we will solve that. So this is R6, this will be R5, this will be R3 and this is R1. They will have a self weight that is 20, it is 20 kg so into 9.81. So this is 40 kg into 9.81 and this is 15 into 9.81. So now I have all the for forces or all the reaction forces that we need for a free body diagram and also all the forces in y direction that we need. I mean this is now the complete free body diagram considering this as a single system. So let us start. So now considering this as a single system, we will solve this for whatever reactions we need to find to find R6. So if we see, if I, saw, if I solve this for f of x and f of y, for f of x I have R6, R3 and R1, everything is unknown. So there is no, uh, no need to find for f of x because we do not have anything to relate to the equation to find R1, R6 or R3 or anything. So let us go for R5 that is as the system is in equilibrium we can always go for f of x and f of y. So first I will go for f of y is equal to 0. So if f of y is equal to 0 the equation would become we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 forces in y direction. So R5 is in upward direction, so this would be R5 minus 20, point 20 into 9.81 minus 40 into 9.81 and minus 15 into 9.81 equals to 0. So as we have this now, I will write this as R5 equals to 20 into 9.81 plus 40 into 9.81 plus 15 into 9.81 and if I solve this, I would get R5 directly. So R5 here would be 735 
पॉइंट सेवन न्यूटन सो नाउ और वी कैन राइट सेवन थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट सेवन फाइव न्यूटन्स सो नाउ आई हैव आर फाइव हियर सो फॉर दिस सिलेंडर वी नीड टू फाइंड आर फाइव एंड दिस ऑल्सो दैट इज द इंटरमीडिएट फोर्स बिटवीन बी एंड ए दैट इज एट पॉइंट फोर बिकॉज फॉर द फॉर कंसिडरिंग सिलेंडर ए टू फाइंड आर सिक्स वी नीड टू नो ऑल दी फोर्सेज सो हियर इट इज बींग सॉल्व सो नाउ लेट इज कंसिडर सिलेंडर ए सो आई ड्रॉ दिस फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम फॉर द सिलेंडर ए हियर now for cylinder a if i consider i have r5 which we already know now i have r6 which i have to find i'll have the self weight that is 15 into 9.81 and i have the intermediate force that is r4 now to complete the diagram i need to find the angle bet between this that is r4 and the x axis so to find the angle as the previous problem i'll just join the two centers and i'll draw a perpendicular and join them so i need to find this angle that is theta so we need to find any two sides so for that purpose if i consider this point and this point these distance this distance and this distance are the two radiuses added together so the radius for a is 4 meters and b is 6 meters so if i draw that triangle here this distance this is theta and this distance would become 4 plus 6 that is 10 now we need we can't find this distance so i'll find this one so this distance would be now if you see the whole distance that is from the whole complete rectangular base we have the distance is 18 and from 6 point or this contact point to a is the distance which is equal to the radius of cylinder a and from this point to point 3 this is the radius of i uh, cylinder b so from here also the distance would be equal to this as the line is completely vertical so this would be also 6 and this is already 4 so i already know that the total distance is 18 so i'll subtract 4 and 6 from 18 and i would get this as 8 so if i calculate this theta so this would become cos theta equals to 8 upon 10 so the theta would be cos inverse 8 by 10 which will give me the value to be 36.87 degrees so now i have the angle that is 36.87 so now as we have the angle we can proceed on solving this so now i know r5 i know this weight and i also know the angle so we have only two unknowns that is r4 and r6 so if we see that the system is a, is a concurrent force system so we can go for the equilibrium equations f of x and f of y and we can find both the unknowns so let us go for f of x is equals to 0 so for that we need to resolve this first so this would become r4 cos 36.87 and this would be r4 sin 36.87 so for f of x is equal to 0 i'll have r6 in the positive direction minus r4 cos 36.87 in the negative direction equals 0 that would be my equation 1 and for f of y is equals to 0 the second equation i'll have r5 
going up that is positive minus 15 into 9.81 mi minus R4 sin 36.87 equals 0. So now I will substitute the value of R5 here that is 735.75 equals sorry minus 15 into 9.81 minus R4 sin 36.87 equals 0. So, if we calculate this, I will get R4 equals to 981 Newtons and if I, this is my equation 2, substituting 2 in equation 1, now if you solve this, um, solve this equation we would get R6 equals to 784.81 Newtons and this completes the requirement of the question that is finding R6. So, this will give us the answer for R6 which is here. So, whenever we have a problem about finding the a particular reaction force and there is, a, uh, there is no other requirement to find all other forces or all other uh, this uh, reaction forces. Just go for a short term method. Do not attempt on finding each and everything which is not asked. If in the question it is asked about finding R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6, all the forces, then we need to separate these cylinders also and then go for uh, go towards finding every each and every possible reactions. So, this completes the solution. Thank you.